from punishment exercises to Idol's and Horror International debuts, your favorite football players reveal their honest cards today. What do Fernando Torres, David Villa, Raul, and Sergio Ramos have in common? All of them scored goals for Spain for fun. Ramos is Spain's record appearance holder with 180 appearances and has scored 23 goals for his country as a defender. What's actually kind of weird is that he's never scored for Spain at any major tournament. When Hazard arrived at Real Madrid in the summer of 2019, he wasn't sure what number he'll wear during the season, at least not during his presentation in front of 50,000 fans at the Stadium of Los Blancos. Knowing he wore a number 10 for both Chelsea and Belgium in the previous seasons, Hazard, just being Hazard, shamelessly requested the number 10 shirt from Modric, who's been an untouchable person of the Real Madrid team for quite some time. He said he called him thanks to his Chelsea teammate Mateo Kovacic. I was joking when I asked him to lend me the number 10. He said no, so I'll have to find another number. Heh, this guy had nerves. Kevin De Bruyne is praised by everyone. He's seen as a highly skilled player with an incredible ability to use both feet. His shots, passes that no one else can see, and crosses, that make Holland the best goal scorer around. But how was all this born? None of that would exist if his parents didn't force him to use his weaker foot while playing in the backyard of their house. Kevin's right foot was obviously deadly from a young age because as he used to practice and kick the ball so hard with his right foot, he regularly damaged his parents' plant pots, forcing his parents to make a strict rule for him to use his weaker left foot to practice shots. That paid off, didn't it? Next! Erling Holland is not afraid to name various footballers as his idols, whether it's Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi, among others. However, the name which appears most of the time is that of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, his incredible karate kick winner against his former club, Borussia Dortmund. Back in September 2022, shows that he certainly learned a thing or two from Zlatan's playbook. Not to mention, he's been making scoring goals look so easy. The Swedish Lion retired from football while being 41 years old. And my question is, can Holland overcome his idol in this area? With the kind of performances he's been producing, the Ballon d'Or probably won't miss him. And that is something Zlatan has failed to achieve in his long career. On the other hand, Ibrahimovic is simply unmatched thanks to his specific personality, witty comments, and outspoken interviews, which are simply legendary. Let's go to Dortmund, not to Manchester United. Words of Jude Bellingham, that will hunt Manchester United for as long as Jude will shine on the pitch. United were interested in signing young Englishmen in the summer of 2020. He was a highly watched player, and many top clubs, including Manchester United, were up for a fight to sign him. In the end, Bellingham chose to join Borussia Dortmund, where he quickly gained momentum as a key player and one of the most promising young talents in Europe. Straight to Real Madrid, just not to Bellingham. Just confess in the comments that you didn't know that when Vinny made his debut for Real Madrid against Atletico Madrid in September 2018, he became the first player who was born in or after 2000 and represented the Madrid Giants. Do you know who Messi is? Sure you do. And you might even know that he made his international debut in 2005 in an international friendly match against Hungary as a substitute. But here's the main plot of the story. Messi replaced forward Lisandro Lopez in the 64th minute of the friendly match, and what was meant to be a night to remember for the future football star turned into a nightmare very soon due to a red card he received in less than a minute after coming on to fight for his country. Back to the young stars, as in 2019 Vini Jr. uploaded a video on his official YouTube channel where he revealed many previously unknown facts about himself, and in that video, he was asked about his greatest football idol. Cristiano Ronaldo, you think? Nope. He surprisingly responded by saying, Neymar. We mentioned Zlatan, but now we'll tell you more about him. Ibrahimovic strongly connects with martial arts, especially with MMA. He's even trained in MMA himself. In one of his interviews, he has said that he finds the discipline and physicality of MMA to be very similar to that of football, and what was the most interesting statement? He called himself the Conor McGregor of football. Zlatan has also used his name as a top pro footballer to make some extra money and promote the sport. He has been seen at several events and even dressed in MMA merch in 2015. Growing up, Osiman had a person he always looked up to. The man was no one else 
but Chelsea legend Didier Drogba and Osimhen often like to be vocal about his admiration of the king of Stamford Bridge. Drogba is the type of player who doesn't give up and possesses a fighting spirit. He is also very passionate, always serious on the field and whatever the circumstance he would try to score for his team, he said speaking to ESPN. Drogba is also open to talking about Osimhen's qualities, and it might be interesting to see whether he will follow in his idol's footsteps.